What's up guys, Super Slash here again, bringing you a tutorial on how to install um, Equivalent Exchange for Minecraft 1.2.5. Alright, so let's get started. First, you want to go to um, Equivalent Exchange. You want to go to the Minecraft forum for it. Uh, it's in the description below. You want to scroll to um, Download. First, you wanna you're gonna have to have Minecraft Forge, so it'll it'll have all the downloads here for you. So you wanna get you'd click on this, you click on the client version, and you'd wait for it to download. Oh man, I've already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna download it twice. But you download it, you get the client, and it's gonna send you to a bunch of different websites. Um, but the three main mods you're going to need for this is Equivalent Exchange, Minecraft Forge, which it has right here if it'll quit lagging on me. Minecraft Forge, you would get, um, I'll show you if you look in the video, you get the 1.2.3. I said it was posted two weeks ago. Don't mess with the top ones because I already have and for some reason it like freezes your game. But my, get the Forge 1.2.3 and... Uh, you have to go to, I guess, I guess they don't have it on this website, but you will need to go to another Minecraft forum, a guy named Risugami. He does, he has a mod called Mod Loader, which makes mods compatible with each other. Certain files and stuff compatible with each other, so you can just go and, uh, um, go into Google or whatever you have, whatever search engine you can type in mod loader Minecraft and then you just click enter and it should pop up, pop up. any of these will work so if you want to do Risugami's yeah full version 1.2.5 you can click on the top one and that'll get it so what you want to do is you can exit out of that stuff once you have it downloaded you want to pull it out. Um, you want to pull out your client. Whoops, I mean double click. Pull out your client. You want to pull out your mod loader. You want to pull out your Minecraft Forge. Wherever you download them to. You could have downloaded them to your desktop. So what you want to do is you want to click start. Type in run in the search program. Click on it. You want to type in percent app data percent just like that and then you want to click OK and it'll bring us um, this roaming folder up you know double click the dot minecraft you want to double click the bin you want to if you, you have to have winrar forgot to tell you that um, you have to have a kind of a zip file opener so winzip, 7zip, winrar they all work but I have winrar which is the best I think is the best so I would go with that if I were you so you just want to click, it says Minecraft, you want to click open with WinRAR Archiver. And it will bring out the archive of the actual Minecraft jar itself. And first thing you want to do is you want to delete your meta inf. You have a meta inf, it's in all caps. It's This is an alphabetical order, so it's a folder called meta inf, I-N-F. Um, so you delete that, and then you want to start off by opening up your I can minimize this now open up my loader and you wanna highlight every single dot class files you just drag and drop into the minecraft dot jar you click OK and now they're all downloaded in there so then you can exit out of that open up your minecraft forge and do the same thing all folders and classes you don't need the text document but it doesn't affect anything so you do that Minecraft Forge and click OK and it'll transfer it. So now that's good. And what you want to do first is um you want to exit out of this out of your Minecraft.jar. You won't be needing that anymore. But you want to make sure before you install the equivalent exchange that your Minecraft is loading up right, that you don't get a black screen or it doesn't freeze right here. It'll go straight to this. So you once you do that you say that's fine. Now it'll generate a mods folder inside your dying Minecraft dot jar, so or your dot dot Minecraft. So you go down. It'll create a config and a mods folder. You want to double click 
your mods folder and you want to drag and drop your equivalent exchange client in here I already have it in here so it's not I don't need to redo it so that's all you do then you can close down everything and you open up your minecraft you just load it up I just click on one of my worlds I have and alright so here's a world I have um, I'll show you something real quick while we're doing it uh, what can I make do I have any diamonds up here I'm just trying to let you know that it is installed here I'll show you on, a, on my let's play world because I already have some things in my inventory but as you can see it's installed um, so it should work for you if it doesn't work for you um, give me some of the problems that it's having tell me what it's doing and I will help you figure it out because it's pretty simple it's not that hard to figure out it's just it's one of the mo more complicated mods to install so if you have trouble um, just send me a message and I will get back to you in the comments um, if this helped you out leave a like please and leave a favorite um, and next next episode I'll I'll show you a lot about the mod like the basics and what stuff does and all that so I will talk to you guys later peace